This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in Chesterfield County. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This is a D.R. Horton home. It is a model home and their Hayden floor plan. We are here in an active construction community. You can probably hear the generators in the background. Uh, we have a bunch of homes going up currently. Uh, directly there in the middle of the frame they are in the foundation stage here to the right we have a foundation it looks like it's completed and pretty soon you'll start to see two by fours going up and let's go on in and take a look uh, we've got a great looking exterior dr horton is one of the largest builders or i think the largest builder here in america they have recently come into the richmond area and they've definitely taken this area by storm one of the things that I love about them is they've taken it up a few notches as far as customer service. So unfortunately, some of the big production builders here locally kind of take their success here for granted. And uh, it definitely has been seen here from a customer service standpoint. Uh, DR Horton is coming in and offering fabulous customer service. And we're going to take a look at here this beautiful home and see what it has to offer. All right, we have uh, some construction professionals that are there working. I didn't want to speak. I think one of them was on a conference call. And so uh, that is a sitting area. Uh, nice, convenient. If you have a home office, that is a great place to go ahead and, and, and set that office up. Uh, very convenient there at the front door. Here in our nicely appointed kitchen, we've got a good size pantry here. Notice the gray flooring, the gray cabinetry. Uh, there is a backsplash in place. Uh, we cook with gas here in this community. The heating system is also uh, gas fired as well. We're going to see that momentarily uh, when we go upstairs. We've got a nice island here uh, in this kitchen. Beautiful granite. I love what they've done with the granite. This is a granite that has shades of cherry, tan, and black in it. Uh, so I think it works very nicely with the color scheme they have here in this beautiful kitchen. Uh, great space here for dinette. Uh, you've got a nice view here of the rear. There is crown molding and recessed lights uh, in this home as well. Let's pop out back and see what we have uh, back here on the rear. We've got a good sized deck. One of the things that uh, we see in new construction, sometimes the deck is a little small. This one is a really good sized deck. You've got plenty of space there for a nice size table. Uh, one of the things also to inquire about is if you are building new construction, you want to find out what the builder is going to do in regards to seed and straw versus sod. If you're the type of person that likes to move in and have a fabulous looking lawn from day one, you might want to opt for sod. It is of course an upgrade in many communities if you do it uh, on the, especially on the rear, uh, the front and side uh, side is often included. Okay, let's go on through the rest of the first floor and see what we have in store. Directly here, straight ahead, is going to be a bedroom. So we've got a first floor bedroom. I know a lot of buyers really like that. If you have someone that has mobility issues in the household, they don't have to deal with steps. I believe that's a full-size bed that's currently in place and we've got enough space on either side for nightstands. All of the closets are really nice size here in this home. This one is nice and deep. You can see back there it goes back about three feet and on this side approximately three feet as well. So nicely appointed closets. Here to the left is going to be our full bath here on the first floor. This is of course going to service that bedroom that we just saw uh, here on the walls around the shower this is real tile and they take it up uh, about uh, almost two feet to the ceiling so that's a really good look and of course they continued that same species of granite here in this bathroom as well got some under stair storage here the door here to my left i believe that's going to take us to the I think that's storage. We're going to see where are the garage is. The garage in models is used as sales office space. Now, when this home ultimately sells, they will go ahead and convert this office back to a garage space. Uh, but for the purposes of the model, 
they have it set up as a sales space. All right, let's go upstairs and see what we have in store on the second level. I love the fact they put in these metal spindles. That is an upgrade, I'm sure. We're going to hang a left here, and I'm going to take you around to this side of the house. We're going to start back here and then come back to the stairs. Okay, we are now on the front of the home. This is going to be bedroom number two. Really good size. This would make a nice office if you wanted to have a view of the front yard. Once again, nicely appointed closet space. In this home, they did use the green that I talked about on a previous video. That green, I think, is trending. And i um, seeing that as being a popular color here in the future. Nice size linen closet. To the right is going to be our heating and air. This is a gas fired carrier furnace. This of course is central heat and air. And we can see we've got the ductwork uh, there that feeds into the other parts of the attic. All right, directly behind me is going to be our hall bath. Here in this hall bath, we've got a nice size linen closet there. They left space on the side of the vanity there for a hamper. And you can see when they staged it, they showed you exactly what's th that's what they had in mind uh, when they laid that space out. Good looking tub shower area once again. Let me give you a shot here from the opposite direction. Notice our cabinetry or our vanity is the same style and color as it is downstairs in the kitchen. So they maintain that same theme throughout. This is gonna be bedroom number three. And I believe I started off and I said four bedroom. This is actually gonna be a five bedroom if we count that downstairs bedroom. So I was a little thrown off. This is a much bigger house than a lot of people would guess by looking at the front. Really good space allocation. In addition to those uh, five bedrooms. We also have this homework nook. I call it a homework nook because this is a fabulous place for Junior to sit right here and to struggle with his algebra. Uh, you've got a little seat here. You could easily put an upholstered cushion here if you wanted to relax and read by uh, natural light or if you just wanted to sit and look out the window. Depending on the view, uh, that might be a really neat place to sit. Uh, so just a really nice area, especially with everyone being in a virtual environment now. Uh, it's nice to have dedicated space to do that. Okay, here to the left is going to be uh, bedroom number four. And I have this currently set up with a pink and floral motif. Uh, probably a little girl's room. Or a little boy that's into pink and flowers. Who knows? All right, this is going to have an ensuite. So this is kind of unusual to have ensuite here for a secondary bedroom. And I'm gonna to have to correct myself again. I said that this was a two and a half bath home. This is actually gonna be a three, uh, one, two, three, four. It's actually a four bathroom house. I'm, I'm all mixed up today. Normally I have a briefing with the site uh, agent and he kind of brings me up to speed on exactly what the floor plan is like but uh, I was able to get in here he was out and so I just did a quick walkthrough so I'm completely uh, messed up here off the regroup and um, I'll put in the headline of this video exactly what our bedroom bathroom count is okay we're currently in the primary bedroom this is a really good size bedroom this is of course a full-size bed plenty of additional space in this home they did a great job with the staging here. I just love to see what the professionals do uh, with the blank canvas that they have as far as laying it out and making it come to life. Really nice size primary here. To the right is gonna be our walk-in closet. This is that green that I was telling you about. This one is maybe a shade or two darker uh, than the new construction that I showed in uh, Church Hill uh, just a few days ago. But a lot of people uh, seem to really like uh, this. I think it works nicely with the countertop uh, and the vanity color that they uh, brought into this home. Nice size water closet. 
Uh, I imagine that it's probably an option to get a tub shower here. Uh, I know some of my viewers definitely prefer to have a tub. Well, I take that back. Here we are, there's your tub. So we've got a, a stand-up shower and a tub here uh, in this beautiful home. Great amount of vanity space and mirror there. Uh, I think they did a really good job of laying this beautiful home out. If you have any questions about this or any other home on the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can reach you at 804-402-7788. On Facebook, under Richmond Area Foreclosures. On YouTube, under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.